Elodie Fabre is a lecturer in politics and international studies at Queen's University, Belfast. She joins us now live from there. Thanks for joining us, Elodie. Uh, what is Hello. Boris Johnson's plan with this suspension? Does he really want to have the UK crash out of the EU no matter what? Well, that's one possibility. Uh, as you've heard, he's, he's not ruling out uh, an agreement with uh, the European Union. He's talking about the uh, mid-October European Council meeting, but he's trying to make sure that deal or no deal, uh, the UK is out of the European Union by the 31st of October. Yes, trying to make sure that Parliament uh, has as little time to scupper his plan as possible. So the end game, though, for him are elections that would take place then after the deadline so that a no deal Brexit will indeed take place. Possibly. Uh, the arithmetics of an election and the mechanics are a bit more complicated now. Uh, in the past, par uh, prime ministers could just call for an election. Uh, the uh, Fixed Term Parliament Act of 2011 makes it a little bit more complicated. Uh, there are only two ways uh, a general election can be called now. Uh, either two-thirds of parliament agree to it or then uh, a general election can happen if Parliament uh, votes a no confidence motion and cannot find uh, an alternative government. There has been a huge backlash to this surprise announcement since it came out yesterday. Over a million people signed a petition in under 24 hours. Protests are taking place around the country. What options, though, are left for the opposition at this point? Well, there are very few options, to be uh, quite honest there. And the main option is when Parliament returns on Tuesday to try and again get control of parliamentary agenda as they did uh, in the spring. This would allow Parliament to try and pass uh, a legislation or an amendment to an existing piece of legislation in order to stop the government from uh, a no-deal Brexit. Is there any chance Boris Johnson might backtrack Rescindy's decision for this month-long suspension, or is that too late? No, I think this is going to happen, yes. It, it, it looks like he's decided that this was uh, the plan, and um, there's nothing that will stop him at this stage. Elodie, is there any precedent for this kind of move? Has this kind of suspension stopping Parliament for a month happened before? Uh, not for a really long time, but prorogation is not unusual. It's just the length uh, of this particular act of prorogation that is uh, unusual. But it's usually between what are called sessions of parliament. There is prorogation, uh, but usually it's a week, sometimes two weeks. I think uh, back in the 90s, before the 1992 uh, general elections, it was close to three weeks, but there are uh, not five weeks as, as we're having now. Elie, just very briefly before you go, how do you see this playing out? At this point, does it look like the UK will come out uh, of the EU without a deal? Well, the red lines that have been put in place by the British government uh, seem to make it increasingly likely, yes. All right, Elodie, thank you so much for speaking to us. Elodie Fabre there on the line, speaking to us live from thank Belfast. You.